Hey guys, I'm Kendra. I'm Bonnie. Stick around for after the episode because we're gonna talk about some behind the scenes of Odd Man Out. See you then. Continue after me. Oh, say can you see? No, stop, stop. By the dawn, turn light. Oh. By, the, oh. by the dawn's early light. We brought together seven U.S. citizens. I am a U.S. citizen. I am a 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 citizen. I'm a U.S. citizen. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. All right, guys, work as a team. We have to do this together. Let's, let's, let's do this real quickly. quickly. Each other. Where were you born? Does it matter? Yes. Where were yeah. you born? California. Where San Diego. were you born? San Diego. Vancouver, Is Canada, dual nice. citizen, U.S. and Canada. NorCal. <laughs> Orange County. Orange County. And what about doesn't your... matter. You said what you. Doesn't you. Matter. What about you? Once the timer started, everyone was just like yelling. He's definitely overcompensating by starting off the questioning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Wait, no, why no, are you no, trying no. to seem serious? But he why don't you say it? He doesn't, no, he doesn't want to tell us. Yeah. Yeah. No. We've got 27 <laughs> seconds left. <laughs> but no, how long have you been in the U.S.? What do you think? <laughs> I thought the first speed round was awesome. It was really cool. I think I kept my composure and stayed mysterious. People often look at me as an international man of mystery. You can't tell us where you're from? He looked right into my eyes and said, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Okay, I'm voting you off. He was kind of shady, but then he made it too obvious. Would they really say that and make themselves stand out? I think he's good. Him, he has oh, way too much I poise. Wait, I'm so confused. You're well too well spoken. There's no information. Citizens. I thought voting him out, we could just continue the game. He's just too uh, collected. He's just too uh, well put together. I thought he was trying to get himself voted up. I felt pretty sad getting voted off in the first round, but at the same time, I left the stage leaving an unforgettable impression on these people. Okay, since everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. Raise your hand if you have any doubt and you would like to continue the game. Okay, continue after me. Oh, say can you see? No, stop, stop. By the dawn, turn light. Oh, by the, well, by the dawn's early light. I got really nervous, especially because I'm not a singer. Like, I can't sing for the life of me. It's, you know, part of our culture. You don't have to be able to hit the high notes. So if she were naturalized as a citizen, she would know certain things like this. I wasn't naturalized. That's, that's, that's I, was, okay, I, I became naturalized and, like, I did not have to sing the anthem. It would have been better if we could have just, like, approached things a little bit more calmly and, like, not, like, sing for me. <laughs> I was Where born in from? America. Okay. I was born in Chula Vista, which is, nice. like, San Diego. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Before we can make any more <laughs> assumptions, I think we should get to know each other first. Yeah. That's Rather right. than going yeah. to- We ain't got time for that, bro. San Jose. Oh, okay. El Camino Hospital. Have you lived in NorCal all your life? No, my parents got divorced. Okay, so where so did you So you went to different forth? places? Jersey, uh, Korea, yeah. We're in Jersey. Oh, so wait, you went to Morris Korea? Morris County, yeah. I can't answer everything, but we're wasting time here. Because he was ever any questions about him living abroad, I think he brushed over it a little too quickly. And you, Michaela? Sorry, your story. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I was born in Vancouver, Canada, and then I moved to the States when I was 10, Grand Rapids, Michigan. She's Canadian. in the clear, so... Wait, 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 how do you know she's in the clear? Are, you, are one of your parents Canadian, one of them is American, so that's how you have your dual citizen? I got my green card because my dad got a work visa. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. And then the one where you awesome. naturalized as a citizen? I got naturalized October 12th last year, so 2018. Last year. Yay, yeah. 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 yeah, America. Okay, so tell me about <laughs> America. The pleasantries are for later, not while you're trying to win money, you know? Have any of you guys traveled yeah, outside of the country? We all did. Yeah. Yes, obviously. Oh, like, but where? Like, well, I've been to the Philippines. Philippines, mm. okay. I've been to London, Canada, Mexico, and Syria. Nice. Uh, Syria? Yeah. Why I'm Syri Syrian. I'm Syrian. Oh, oh really? Yes. Yeah. So how did you oh. get your citizenship? I was born here in Orange County. I visited Syria when I was like very young. I used to, because my grandparents used to live there, but. Four minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. We have to narrow it down. These two are my biggest suspects right now. You do have Spanish blood in you, I can see. Yeah, that. I do have Spanish blood, see? but I'm not from Spain. See, Where I, are you from? I'm from Hoboken, New Jersey, but I was born in, and like I said earlier, I was born in Havana. He was pointing everywhere but himself. He became too pushy. You gotta eliminate candidates, right? Yeah. And I see you as naturalized. I see you as maybe born here. Um, I don't know about you 100%, but after him, yeah, you're sus. And you're then, sus. Oh, we're, I, we're about I, to I think lose. you're not going to go. be a good liar.
I just wanted like a peaceful environment that I could hear what people had to say. It was in the best interest of the other citizens to keep me around because I was really here to play the puzzle, the interesting part. What does it mean to everyone to be American? I was literally just gonna ask oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Freedom to say whatever the heck you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's all about um, being who you are, being what you want to be, because in other countries, you can't be transgender in other countries, you can't even be gay. It's the country of just free expression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I see it as such a privilege to be able to like immigrate here when I'm from Canada, which is like, and okay, like I'm not a refugee, I'm not. I sometimes I feel a little guilty of being American mm. because like Don't I- Don't feel guilty. But it's like, it's such you a- You came in the right way. Don't yeah. feel guilty. All of my family's Mexican and me having the ability to study here, to have a job here, it's just, it makes such a big difference. I was definitely holding back information. Like I didn't tell anyone that I live in Mexico because I was scared people would turn on me. Like you said, it's a big source of guilt because mm -hmm. I look at my cousins back in Mexico and they don't have the opportunities that I have. I I just got lucky because I got to be born here. Uh, I can kind of feel the same way. My, my mom actually grew up in the Philippines her whole life, uh, lived in a very poor family. And so she got to move here because of the freedom and opportunity. Uh, and so she met my dad and I was able to be born here. And I think that's just so great that she has given me a life of privilege where she could not. What's the worst thing about America to you? White supremacy. I would say that's the worst. Had she not answered the question the way she did, I was not gonna vote her out. That's too much of a non-US citizen coming across the border. There is hate, there's negativity, and obviously we can't all have empathy and be positive about everything in the world, but I wish we all were empathetic of everyone and everything. The worst thing about America right now is that we have an open border in the South and we're allowing everybody to come in and we don't know who's coming in. And that's gonna ruin your futures, not mine but yours. But most of them are refugees. And most of them are not refugees. I'm a refugee. Okay. I came over as a refugee. There are refugees who do deeply need help, but he didn't take the side of the unfortunate, and I felt kind of sad to hear that. Refugees don't have cell phones, don't have nice clothes, and don't come over to the United States so they can have an anchor baby. You know, you guys are millennials, you don't agree with me, and that's fine. <laughs> the best part about America, we're very inclusive. It's not the first person to tell me that Mexican people should stop coming into the US or that Mexican people are a threat to American freedom. People in America think that way and I just, I've become used to it by now. It's the truth, especially here in California. When I talk to people that are of Mexican or Central American, I said, you know, it's funny when you're in your country, you're white. You cross that border and now all of a sudden you're Hispanic. I believe that she was the mole because of just that. I honestly voted John out for strategy reasons. I felt so bad because I believed her, but I didn't know who to vote out, and I also thought I was on the chopping block. At that point, I really felt as if everyone was a US citizen, so Carolina was my only choice. Raise your hand if you would like to continue the game. I swear. If. <laughs> if it's John, I swear. <laughs> if it's no, you, it's if it's you, I'll see you outside. <laughs> I'll see you outside. All right, if the lights turn green, you have voted the mole out and you all win the game. If the lights turn red, the mole is still in the square and you have lost. Oh, God. It's yeah. gotta turn green. Yeah. No. See? See? You? I wonder why! I wonder! You were so, excellent. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'm you gonna see excellent. you outside. I'm sorry, yes. I'm sorry. I knew it, I'm I knew sorry. it was you. He knew the correct things to say. Before we went up, he was like being so nice and like, oh, we're in this together, like we're gonna get the mole. I'm sorry. I trusted you. I know. <laughs> as soon as I met them, uh, I know that I had to manipulate them. I knew I had to lie to them. And I felt bad, I felt so bad. Sorry guys. So I am a Filipino citizen. I moved to America three years ago only for college. So I'm here on a student visa. I really want to be a US citizen. So I'm hoping for that one day for it to be the real deal. 
I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, I can believe it. I can. The nature of this game to unfairly judge people. Being a US citizen can look differently. It can sound different. Everybody can be American, whether like your skin tone is lighter, darker. It's not related to your culture. It's not related to your language. We all have different opinions. We all have different mindsets. Not everyone's gonna think like you or act like you. We just have to be empathetic, understanding of why they're like this, and just accept it. I think I made an impact, and I don't think any of those people will ever forget about me. Guys, this is Bonnie. She directed the past couple episodes of Odd Man Out, which you watched and I hope you loved. Can you tell me, like, what was the most profound thing that you learned? Directing this series is, like, kind of wild because you're constantly reevaluating, like, your own biases through this process. Like, even just in, like, coming up with the episodes themselves, you kind of have to start thinking about, like, oh, why is this an episode I've thought of? And that's what Jubilee is about. We're yeah. all about breaking down stereotypes. If you're interested in being in an Odd Man Out episode, our casting link is in the description below. Um, also, make sure to follow us on Instagram, leave a comment, tell us who you thought the mole was, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully. We'll see you next time.